Now, bench players can potentially be more valuable than our starters. Um, for example, like there are people who aren't on the main stage who can still support and be essential to the team. For example, in football, what happens if they get an injury if they don't have the medical staff? The medical staff aren't known, but if we didn't have them, the whole team would crumble because people would be getting injuries and they would be taking care of themselves. So that's why it's super important that most bench players stay on the team and we continue to build them up. Now, bench players can depend. Ooh, that's okay. You can click through this one. So this is assistant coaches, water filters, like in football, right? Those are important. And medical staff. Go ahead and watch this one, please. All right. So a strong bench gives leaders more option. So when we get injured, right, we want somebody to be able to take our place. Now, do you want somebody who's taking your place to be maybe not as skilled? No. Right, so that's why it's important to build a strong bench because if we have a strong bench and we need a substitute, they can still carry the team and the leader won't have to worry. They can still be confident that they can push their team to new levels. Now, bench, go ahead. The bench can be used at critical times, right? Good example is the Army. When the Army is in trouble, they call up the reserves, and you'll see that in the book. If you read the book, he uses that example specifically. But that's the same thing here too, right? If me, Miss Christensen, we always want to make sure that we have a high rank to step up in place to make sure that they teach you guys, right? We wouldn't want a white belt to step up and teach basic, now would we? No, ma'am, absolutely not. Go ahead. All right, now here is the good question: How do we? a good bench. Well, first, you want to pick people who won't pick or who won't cut around corners. Basically means that they have a strong work ethic and they're passionate about what they do. You want people who are willing to prepare for challenges. They can adapt easily and they are super flexible. You also want people who are not, or as a leader, you don't want to be afraid to cut the unproductive, right? We talked about the bad apple and the weak link. Sometimes as leaders, we got to make the tough decisions and be like, hey, Bye bye. So make sure, don't be afraid to cut the unproductive. Now, how does this apply to us? As martial artists, we're all leaders, we're all at different levels, but it is our overall goal to reach our goals, right? Reach our black belt, help our students reach their black belt. So it's important that we develop a good bench, that way we can be more prepared to help them. It is also our responsibility as upcoming leaders to be aware of these sort of things. Martial arts, as general relies on genera generational improvement. So basically meaning that my newer ranks are better than my older ranks when you get to their level. Yes ma'am? Yes ma'am. Go on. We have an activity. So I'm gonna need four volunteers. You can go ahead and raise your hand. Right? Okay. I got Mr. Sure up here. Right here. Um let's see here. Mr. Michael, up here. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Galantine? Oh, Galantine right here. Awesome. And how about Mr. Eugene? Right here. Perfect. All right. So you're going to be one, two. Mr. Michael, you're going to be two. Raise your hand. Nice and high. There you go. Three and four. All right. So you guys have 45 seconds to pick members for your team. I'm not going to tell you what you're going to do. So you want to make sure you pick your members. Yes, ma'am? So you got 35 seconds. Make sure that we're doing this in an orderly fashion, right? So once, you're going to pick yours first, then two, then three, then four. Yes, ma'am? So take turn. Your 45 seconds starts now. Probably faster if you call out their names. Yes, call out their name. Just one. Just one. Just one. Just one. Mr. Jones. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and that's right. Miss Asher, why did you choose the first person first? 
chose Carrie Worse because I know she can hold it with me and has good attitude. Good attitude? Awesome. Mr. Uh, Mr. Brad, why did you choose Worse? Because me and Oliver have been friends for a long time now, and I know he is, he is good at martial arts. Awesome. Nice. Okay. I'm all over here. Right. Why did you choose your first person? I chose Mr. Silk because I know that he's a higher, higher ranked black belt and he has enough leadership skills to defeat it. Awesome. And Mr. Hinton, why did you choose the honor? Mr. Jones is just dumb and low overall. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Alright, so notice the pattern here, right? So most of these people chose theirs out of familiar familiar right. Oh my goodness, I'm struggling with words. They know them, right? And they're comfortable with them. They know their skills and they know what they're capable of. Now, what if I were to tell you that you had to create a form, right? So I want you to pick another person. I'm gonna give you 20 seconds, and you're gonna pick another person starting now. Mr. Dominguez. Oh, okay. Okay. Come here, Miss Kadari. Miss Kadari. Oh, I'm being blinded by the light. Mr. Shinkan. Okay. I got my stuff, I got it. There you go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. We're going to start over here. So, why did you choose Mr. Dominguez? Mr. Dominguez is really good at putting together. Okay, all right. And then who's the next person and why did you choose him? I chose Mr. Davis because he has a long period of time. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to get blinded, but like one more time. Okay, there you go. And why did you choose Mr. Kate Lyra? Because I know he can sharpen up our opinions. There you go, awesome. And then Ms. Kurt. I chose Ms. Kadari because she can help us create strategies. Yes. I want you guys to notice how the people that they picked are on the ambassador team. What? That's crazy. You want to create a form? You pick people on the ambassador team? Awesome. So these are the traits that we look for. We want to build a good bench, right? We want people who are passionate. Everyone on the ambassador team is pretty passionate about what they do. So good job, you guys. Give a round of applause. Yes. Go ahead, take a seat. There you go. So when we build a bench, it's not just about familiar, familiarity. There you go, I nailed it this time. Awesome. It's about looking at your goal, seeing how it relates to the people on your team, and making sure that they are willing to commit and to support you while you are on the team. Yes, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. All right, well, enjoy the rest of your testing. I wish you guys good skill. I didn't turn it off, so my bad.